So where's my secret cabinet going? Oh yeah, we're gonna paint the inside of this little cubby and then the back panel can have a little removable panel and in there is... Um, Where I can keep my cash? Yeah, <laughs> your jewels and everything. <laughs> All the diamonds, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> I love my past engagement rings can go up there. <laughs> Here comes mommy. This is definitely my biggest renovation yet. Am I breaking the whole house? Be careful. Who the heck is this woman? I'm Rebecca Higgs and I renovate homes. I didn't really know what I was doing when I started and sometimes I still don't. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But with the help of my trusty crew. This is the kind of house that's a big puzzle. Stuff has got done, Rebecca. <laughs> my loving and patient family. You can even do it in a dress. It's money, right? I know there's never a dull moment. <laughs> what? When you're a DIY mom. <laughs> How do I demonstrate to thee the reasons that I want to gut this kitchen? Let me count the ways. First of all, it's a galley style kitchen, like at the bottom of a ship with no windows. But on the other side of this wall, there is a stunning view of the ocean. So bye bye galley. When you enter a home, you want people to say, wow. But the hallway maze we had here just kind of made you say, Mm, so I have a plan. Julie and I are going to be removing all the cabinet doors and the cabinets so that we can reuse them for the new kitchen space. We've got a beautiful mid-century mod design for the kitchen. It's going to have lots of color and be a nice neutral wood. And because these are solid wood cabinets, I'm going to save myself a lot of money by refacing them. The cherry wood on these cabinets is just not my style. The color is super dated and so is the face of them. But when you open them on the inside, it's like a shaker style cabinet. So Julie and I are going to remove the cabinet doors and we're going to flip them around and put them back on our new cabinet. So this is a great way to reuse solid wood cabinets, get the most of it and stretch your renovation budget. These are all the existing cabinets, all the measurements for them. And we were able to take these measurements and turn it into this design. So all of these cabinets are reused from the existing cabinet. So what might be a $20,000 cabinet budget has now become a $6,000 cabinet budget. All I need to order is the kitchen island cabinets and my solid surface countertops. So most of my budget for this renovation is going towards countertops now instead of cabinets. That makes it really easy because we can literally just flip these doors and have a completely different look. Now we're playing a new game with the cabinets called Let's Move Them All Around and Save As Much Money As Possible. One cubby goes there, one cubby goes here, and one cubby here, one cubby there, and one in the pantry. And those will, will reuse the MDF. Okay, perfect. Have. So I'll help you get this one hung. And then once they're once the upper cabinets are all hung, we'll have all the boxes in place and we can start working on the fronts. Exactly. And then that's when we'll bring them to life with the paint color. It might sound a little far out, but I promise you it's going to be the bee's knees. That's an old mid-century modern saying, by the way. Julie and I are actually taking the original kitchen cabinets and making them work for this space. So it does require some trimming and some, you know, customizations. This is a great way to do a renovation for a couple of reasons. One, because we don't have to wait on getting our kitchen cabinet boxes, but also with the prices of things going up and the demand on them, it's just so great that we're able to reuse what we already have for kitchen cabinets. It saved me a ton of money. So Julie's a genius and came up with a way to reuse them. It's gonna look totally different. Everybody's gonna love it. <laughs> With the cabinet boxes in place, the kitchen is starting to take shape. 
When you open the cabinet doors, you don't want the inside to still look like the old cabinet doors. So in order to solve that problem, we're going to router down a little bit of the middle section and then cut and secure a very thin piece of plywood over top. And that will give it a finished look that will be smooth and simple and not give away our secret that we're reusing our old kitchen cabinet doors. Amazingly, we have been able to reuse every single piece of cherry wood from the original kitchen. Waste not, want not. All right, it's in, and I could put more screws later. But that's how big the kit, the fridge is. Not very big. Yeah. <laughs> you sure I that can... that's the height of the fridge? Because of the flooring double. after we leveled it, has it changed anything? I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're right. So, do you have to move it up? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, back to my position. <laughs> <laughs> My trend predictions for the immediate future is that people are going to be embracing more color in their homes. It's time to pick the team colors for Team Kitchen that go with my mid-century modern inspired design. Let's get cooking. Today, Julie and I are getting ready to spray our kitchen cabinets. We're gonna be creating this sort of multi-colorful, mid-century mod look on the upper cabinets. We've got a beautiful green, a white, and a pink. And so we're gonna prime them, and then we're gonna spray them down and get that pop and kitchen color going. I'm dressing up for the job in high fashion and getting to work. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> I feel like the Marshmallow Man. I feel like the Michelin Marshmallow Man. <laughs> I think RuPaul would love the cinch ways. Clench it, wench. Julia's getting busy refacing these cabinets. You can't just slap a coat of paint on them and call it a day. Finished cabinets like these require several goes at sanding, staining, sanding again, filling in the old hardware holes with our DIY wood filler, then flipping them over and finishing the insides. Turns out the process of refinishing cabinets is a bit of a sticky situation. This is where we were, and this is where we are now. Um, but this is where we'd like to be, in this sort of range. So, Julie, you're saying if we used a wood conditioner, we might be able to, like, make the wood more porous to the color? Yeah, yeah. So it absorbs more of the stain mm. and uh, takes the color more so that we can cover that red. Get really, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. we really want to get rid of that orange. Yeah. And you're saying this might be, like, a deeper part of the cherry tree, possibly different parts of the tree. Like this would be similar to this one, mm. or this is a bit this is deeper, a deeper maybe, or like a little darker, so. And that can depend yeah. on how the wood is gonna react to the stain, so. It's gonna take a little bit more practice kind of learning as we go. Even though I'm a musician, I'm going to leave all the fine tuning to Julie. Everything is just so up in the air. It's like somebody will say, oh, the bathroom's gonna take me five days, and it takes 10 days, or the kitchen's gonna take 10 days, and it takes 20 days. The clock is ticking on Julie's timeline. She said she would only need 10 days to finish, and it's been close to 20. That means extra money spent and a delay on my move-in day. I better find out what's been going on.
what is left what is left on your list for the kitchen so that I can help you finish this? <laughs> Shelves? Yeah. Cutting and the holes for the lights. Or cutting the, the holes for the lights, the big one. Because there is a lot more now, whereas there might have been only five before. There's 17. It'll be a maze of wires. So, so what would you prefer me to do? Like cut holes and run wires or stain? We could stain together. We can cut cut holes and run wires together too. Yeah. Let's okay, do so we can together. stain together and we can cut <laughs> holes and run wires together and that will hopefully yeah. Make this go a little faster? Yes. This other door works better in the corner. Okay. With spacing. So I have to modify that one into a corner door. So this is not the time things. for your OCD to come out, Julie. <laughs> I we want need to get to things done. The same repeat <laughs> after me. <laughs> done is better than not done. Okay. I'll just come in at your supper time when you're moved in and be like, I'm just gonna adjust this door. <laughs> Other than the doors, I want them to close perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think that there. we could hang some of the lac shelves mm -hmm. just so that they're out of the way? Sure. Because I feel like if we hang a bunch of lac shelves, we'll feel like there's like stuff got done. done. Yeah. <laughs> stuff has got done, Rebecca. <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. <laughs> the, the, do, little, the little kitty cat on the puss in boots. Yeah, <laughs> do the thing. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> Okay, Julie, I get it, but the countertops are coming whether you like it or not. So let's move. Just a little kitchen update. We're four months into the renovation and this is the progress we've made on the kitchen. The lights are hung, the countertops are in, but most of all, I'm just waiting for my appliances to arrive and they're all on back order. And so I've been waiting since November to get these appliances. And my stove is here, but I haven't received any of my other appliances. I'm still waiting for the dishwasher and the fridge and I can't really finish my kitchen until I have a fridge. Every renovation has its challenges, um, but just happens to be that this one we're doing is during a pandemic. Not being one to let anything go to waste, I've gathered up all the tile scraps from my bathroom floor and I'm piecing them back together like a puzzle in the pantry. With the renovation being over budget and over time, I don't want to spend any more money on materials. So I'm gathering up all the materials we have around the house to use them up in creative ways to finish this renovation project. And one of those things is the leftover tile from my master bathroom floor. So I don't want any of this beautiful marble mosaic tile from Centura to go to waste. So I have gathered it all up and I think I have enough to do the backsplash in my pantry. I don't want to add like another pattern or something else and we've got the barn door which looks really great so we could repeat that same thing here behind the kitchen island. So what do we have left over for wood around the house that we can reuse? We still have some of the kitchen cabinets and um, this was another cherry cabinet that was the around the electrical panel. Mm -hmm. Do we have enough of that to get all the way across the back though? I feel like we're going to need a lot. I brought a lot. <laughs> you did bring a lot of this? Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, well why don't we keep ripping this stuff up and using as much of this as possible. But I think we should paint them before we install them because it's gonna be really hard to get in between all the cracks. Okay, so if you cut the plywood, I will paint the strips. All right. And then we can install them. Hi, I'm just calling to um, check in on my appliances. They're um, supposed to be delivered this week. What? Are you telling me that's gonna be four months until I get my appliances? I, I don't wanna cancel my order. I've designed the whole kitchen around the fact that I'm gonna have these appliances. Now at this point, I just wanna finish my renovation and move into my house and you're telling me that I'm, I'm not gonna be able to have any appliances for four months. I can't have a 36 inch gaping hole in the middle of my gorgeous kitchen. Okay, I cannot wait any longer. I have to take matters into my own hands. I found a 36 inch fridge that can work in this space, but it's the wrong color. Stainless steel? Come on people, that's so 2020. 
The other day I was like, okay, I need a fridge today. It's actually really hard to come by a white fridge because they sort of went out of style and a lot of people got rid of their white fridges. So everything is stainless steel. I don't want a stainless steel appliance in this kitchen because I want to go with a white and gold look. I ended up buying a stainless steel fridge for under $1,000, dropped it off at NDR Solution to get it vinyl wrapped. And that way I can kind of like mimic the look of a cafe appliance with having like the matte white finished with gold handles without having to wait for my appliance to come because at this point I just need to have a finished kitchen and if my appliances aren't coming till July, that's just not gonna do. I picked up a, a stainless steel fridge and got it wrapped Jeez. by NDR Auto Solutions That's by awesome. a car auto guy <laughs> to make it look like a cafe appliance. It looks just like it. <laughs> so we could fill the space. Right. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So that does the trick for now. And my so I can wait till July to get my actual wow. fridge, but very creative. Yeah. yeah. They're in high demand. All my clients want them and they can't get them. Finally, the kitchen is done. But people keep asking me on Instagram what our process was. The truth is, unless you started exactly where I did, you will probably end up with a different look. But you don't need exactly what I have. Just use what I did for inspiration and do what works for you. So now that I have the kitchen of my dreams, we're ready for the grand finale of season four. And what would a house of mine be without a pink door? So keep watching. But for some extra inspiration, check out my website and blog at DIYMom.ca. And don't forget my Instagram, where you can share your DIY successes with me. I'd love to see what you're up to.